Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a drum machine using Resample-O-Matic 5000 in Reaper. Now I'll start off with a blank project and make a new track. Just double click over here and we'll name it Drum Machine. Give it a color, something like this. Then we'll set up the input to MIDI right here and choose my USB MIDI keyboard, which can be seen down over here. This is not a part of Reaper. I just put this here so you can see my keyboard as an input. Then we'll go over here to record monitoring and turn it on. So if we go into record and play the keyboard, we'll see input on this meter, letting us know it's working. So now we can put the sample plugin on this track. On the track effects right here, we'll go to the Reaper ones over here and choose resample 5000, which is the sample that comes with Reaper. We'll choose it, and it looks like this. So now we need to add a sample or a drum sound to this plugin. Now the best way I've found to go through my drum sounds is using the Media Explorer. So let's go up here to View and choose Media Explorer, which we could also select with the keystroke on PC it's Alt-Control-X, and on Mac, it's Option-Command-X. Just choose it, and it should show up down here. Then I created some folders for my drum sounds, and I labeled it Sound Library, and some other folders just for my kicks, snares, claps, and hats. So here's where I can go through and audition my sounds. Let's start with a kick. I'll choose this folder right here, and if I just click them, I should hear each of them. As long as we turn on autoplay down here. And also leave off tempo match, as I don't want to time stretch our drum samples. So we go through and find a kick that we like. I kind of like this one. Now we can drag and drop it to the plugin. Right here, just drop it. So now if we play the MIDI keyboard, we should hear that sound. And we do. Now it's gonna play the kick on any key we hit. So we wanted to find it for just one key. So let's go over here to note start and type in 36, which is C2, and note end the same way, 36. So now if we play C2, we hear the kick, but if we play any other key, we don't. So we can assign those to other samples. Now we could also change our max voices right here to just one voice. This way, every time we play the kick, it cuts off the previous one, which makes sense for a drum machine. Unless we're using long sounds like cymbals, where we want them to overlap. We could adjust our panning, our volume, and also adjust the velocity if we want it to be sensitive to how hard we play. So if we bring this all the way down and play soft, it plays back quietly. So it responds to velocity. But for the kick sound in our drum machine, I don't really need that. So I'm gonna put this back to zero. So it'll always be the same volume, no matter how hard we hit it. So now we could add another drum sound or sample. And the way to do that is to just copy this plugin and then paste it. And we'll get another plugin for a different sound although we can keep the other settings for now, as they get duplicated when we do this. So let's choose a snare. Go back 
to the Media Explorer. And this time we'll choose my snare folder, go to this folder here, and check out our snares. Let's go through a little further down. I kind of like this one. So we'll drag and drop it to this plugin. But now we have to change the note start and note end on this one. We'll change it to 38, which is D2. And if we play D2 on the keyboard, we hear the snare. So you have a kick and a snare. Now let's add a clap. So again, we'll copy this and paste it. Go back to the Media Explorer. And this time, go to my claps folder. I think I like this one. So drag it in and drop it. Change the note start and end to 40, which is E2. Play the keyboard. And we get our claps. Next, we'll add a hi-hat. Copy, paste. Go down here to my hi-hats. I like this one, drag it in, set this to 42, which is F sharp 2, play it on the keyboard, and we have a hi-hat. Now for the hi-hat, I want it to be velocity sensitive, so I'll change this to infinity, so if I play it soft, it plays back quietly. And if I play it hard, it plays back louder. So I can add accents to my performance. And it'll sound more natural with different volumes for each hit. Now let's add an open hi-hat. Copy and paste it. Go down to the end where the open hats are. I think I like this one because it's nice and long. So we'll drag it in and drop it and assign this to 46, which is B flat 2. Play it on the keyboard and it plays back. But there's one problem with it. It plays a bit too long when I play a pattern. Normally, the open hat will cut off when we play the closed hat, but right now it doesn't. So we can fix that with a plugin. But let's first change the open hat to obey note offs. This is necessary for the plugin we're going to use. Then we'll add a plugin called MIDI Choke. Right there. Now let's put it before the hi hats. Now it's already set to choke using 42 and to choke the sound 46. So we don't have to change that, which is why I chose those notes for the hi hats. So now the closed hat is going to choke the open hat. Perfect. So now we're ready to record our part. Let's close this. And let's start off by creating a new MIDI item in the arrangement window. Hold down Control on the PC, Command on the Mac, and just draw it in. Let's make it two bars. Then I'll create a loop right here by dragging in the ruler and turn on looping down here in the transport. So it's going to loop like a drum machine would, every two bars. Then we'll turn on the metronome, right-click it, and set it up so it turns off during playback, but it's on during recording. 
and also at a counting when we're recording. Of just one bar. Now we should also change the mode for recording. If we go here on the track, we could choose record MIDI and MIDI overdub over here. That's going to record like a drum machine where it's not going to replace on each pass. We can just keep adding to it. So I can record this all in one performance. But what I also want to do is quantize on the way in, the way a typical drum machine does. So I'm going to right click over here, go to track recording settings, and turn on input quantize. And then set it to 16th notes. Now it's going to quantize on the way in. Go into record. Perfect. So now in one pass, we recorded three parts, or actually four parts, our kick, our snare, our claps, and the hi-hats. Now let's record one more using a sound with a pitch. Let's go back to our plugin, duplicate the clap, and put it down here. Go to the Media Explorer, and this time, let's add a synth. Right over here, called beep. Let's drag it in. And let's change the note to start at 48, which is C3, and end at 60, which is C4. So it's going to play an entire octave. But if we play it now, it plays the same note on every key. We want it to change chromatically. So we can change it right here to note semitone shifted. But then we should change the pitch start to be zero. So it'll start with the first sample and then pitch up. Perfect. So now we can play a melody with our drum machine. So let's record this on top of the other parts. So just like that, we recorded our drum part and a melody right in one section. And if we want to edit this, just double click the item. It'll open up right here. And we can switch it from the piano roll with this button right here to named notes. So we can see the samples or the names of the samples right over here. Our kick, snare, clap, closed hat, open hat, and the beeps. So if you want to edit or redo any of these parts, let's say I wanted to redo our hi-hats, just right-click it, and it selects all those notes. Just delete it. Do the same with the open hat. And we can replay that part that easily. Now that's a lot to set up, but if we want to use this drum machine again, we can save it as a track template. Just right click on the track, save tracks as template. It's going to put it in the track templates folder and just name it drum machine. So now if we want to use it in a new project, let's delete this one. Just right click over here. Insert track 
from template drum machine. And it opens back up with all those sounds ready to go. And of course we could change the sounds to anything we want, but it's mostly set up with the keyboard notes and assignments, along with the MIDI Choke plugin. So we could still use this template and just switch out the drum sounds. So that's pretty much it. That's creating a drum machine using Resamplematic 5000 in Reaper. I hope you learned something, hope you could use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Oh!